YouTube, Future 22 J is back at you with another video. It isn't a secret that Nike and Jordan brand has been making a valiant effort to keep the ball rolling when it comes down to women releases and women exclusives. It's a dope thing to see because the last couple of years there have been colorways of shoes that have dropped that have honestly made a lot of guys jealous that they weren't able to get it in their size. The one thing that I do feel like that they need to do a little bit more of is just put a little bit more of a spotlight on a lot of other releases this shoe right here is one of those shoes that sat on nike for weeks i mean maybe even months just in case if you guys haven't seen it this isn't no super hype shoe or anything of the sort but this is a very 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 clean colorway especially for women so check it out the box you guys can see we have a white air jordan box this is the jordan box that a lot of women exclusives come in label reads women's air jordan one low is e the colorway is white emerald rise white this is a size C. The Air Jordan 1 Low is the Emerald Ride. I don't do a lot of women releases and I know I gotta get back to that, but this is a women's release that I feel like I had to present. The regular Jordan 1 Lows, the general release Air Jordan 1 Lows, you don't have a release date, you don't know where they're releasing. Checking this one out, I know for a fact if you're able to cop a retail or maybe possibly under retail, is definitely something that you ladies should grab. So let's get into the specs. Starting at the bottom, it's weird having this little shoe. But at the bottom of the shoe, we have a translucent outsole. Translucent outsoles are hit and miss when it comes down to any shoe. With Air Jordan 1 lows, I kind of feel like that that's probably where they're at their best. There isn't a lot of Air Jordan 1 lows that has a translucent outsole that's trash. Coming up into the midsole, we have a nice white midsole, nothing major, nothing too crazy. Now, getting into the uppers of the shoe, the main highlighted feature is this back heel tab that's in turquoise and blue. And it also has an Air Jordan Flight logo in the back and gold. We have the mixture of gray, white, and turquoise leather throughout the entire upper. The toe box is probably one of the best features of this shoe. It has a little bit more peripheral holes than the typical Air Jordan 1 low, probably because of the fact that they stitched a golden jump man in the top of the toe box. This is something that I think I've never seen on the Air Jordan. I think we've got a jump man on the Eric Costin lows a couple of years ago. But to see this, and this is a nice aspect. Mid pound and toe box, we have the typical white leather, nothing too crazy. This is still a Jordan 1 low SE. So the materials are not gonna be great as we anticipate them to be. On the tongue on the shoe, we have a leather patch with a jump man, a big jump man embroidered into the leather factory lace with white laces they do not come with an extra pair of spare laces but if you have any other spare laces and any other pair of shoes that you have laying around i highly recommend you either throw some gold laces in here get you some turquoise or get you some emerald this is called emerald green emerald green laces or maybe some blue or you could really probably just do sale laces might be the best bet for real but they come factory laced with white into the swoosh now the swoosh has this kind of a chopped sliced effect which is exactly similar to the swoosh that's on the Nike Dunk Low Chicago split. This is my first time seeing the split swoosh on a shoe and it's good to see them have it on the Jordan 1 low. White lining with the 2-3 split on the insole of the shoe and that basically sums up the entirety of it. So in the comment section below ladies you let me know what you think about these fellas. Is this a low key fire shoe for your girl? Is this a fire shoe for you to get your daughter? Let me know down below. And if it's something that I've learned, it's never about the hype, it's all about how it looks. And honestly, this is a fire women's shoe for the summertime. It's really gonna be a good overall year-round shoe based on the color palette. Let me know what you think about these. I also had a review up for the Crenshaw Skate Club, but right now as we speak, so make sure you guys go check that out. Let me know, do you have this in your collection already? Are you gonna go and try to get it right now after this video? Let me know down below. This is the end of my review. My name is Future 22 JS. If you don't know, please know that there's no ceiling to your inner potential. This was my review of the Air Jordan 1 Low SE Women's Exclusive Emerald Rise. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Trade Block at Future 22 JS. And always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.